Okay, this video is to show you how to move text from a wiki to a Word document. So the first step is to select all of your text and copy. And bring it over to your Word document. Now in this example I'm using LibreOffice Writer and you may be using Microsoft Word but the steps will be similar. Perhaps the, uh, the options and the tools will be a little bit different um, but the idea is the same. So the first thing we need to do is select all of the text in our Word document. There, there are going to be some global changes that we need to do first and the easiest way to do that is to select all the text and make each of the changes accordingly. So for example, the first thing we're going to do is create double space. So your document does need to be double spaced and there needs to be equal spacing between each paragraph. Microsoft Word, I think there's a box that you need to check that will allow equal spacing between each paragraph. So I think by default, Word automatically puts uh, additional space between each. So you will need to check that. In this program, in LibreOffice Writer, uh, by default, there is equal spacing. So, for the most part. So if you click OK here, then your whole document now is double spaced. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go back to Format and click Page. Again, having all of our text selected. And we're going to change the margins. Now, by default in Microsoft Word, I think the margins are already set, but you do need to check it just to make sure. You need one inch margins all the way around. So, uh, left, you need a one inch left margin, right margin, top and bottom. And click OK, and then that will this will adjust your margins. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to create an indention. All, each paragraph should have a half inch indention. So the first thing is to make sure that your version of Microsoft uh, Word is in inches. I think by default, at least in Mexico, the default is in centimeters. So the first thing you'll need to do is move or change it from centimeters to inches. Once you've done that, you can move this top slider bar over to a half an inch. In Microsoft Word, it's uh, quite easy. It will lock in a half inch. Once you get close to that point, it will uh, automatically lock in. This particular program, I always have to manually check it because, for instance, here it has 0.51, so I wasn't exactly right. I have to directly enter the value. But the idea is that each paragraph has a half inch indention. So again, if you have all your uh, documents selected, just uh, these few formatting changes will be, uh, it will change your entire document. So you don't have to go in and select and change each, each paragraph or sentence. Okay, so the next step now is to create uh, your, or uh, yeah, create your heading. And so now to do that, we are going to insert a heading in this program. And then we're going to insert a page number. And we're going to move this over to the right. Notice that all of the text is, fl is flush left. So do make sure that you're using, for example here, you're using the left justified or line left uh, option. Uh, make sure that you have not selected this option, which is, they call it justified in this program, where it justifies both the left and the right mar uh, margin. So the text should be all justifi left justified. Now in your heading, we will right justify the page numbers and then we will add our title. And then I'll create spaces to move it over to the left. And I will put this text in bold. So this title here will be the first five words of your title that appears here. Okay. Now here, there's one thing left that we need to do that I should have done before. If we select all the text once again, we do need to make sure that the font size is 12. By default, in this program anyway, it 
already defaults to Times New Roman, but if not, you do need to change your font size or type to Times New Roman and the font size is 12. So again, if you select all the text, it's quite easy uh, to change all of your text. And so there we have our title. Now this is going to be a level one heading. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is hit backspace. So we move this bar over to the left and then we center the text by selecting this icon. And so level one headings are all centered to the page and all the main words are capitalized. This will be a level two heading which again needs to be left justified all of the main words are capitalized, so on. And we'll remove the period at the end. So this will be a level two. In the event that you use a level three heading, this is what it will look like. So it's part of the paragraph, so it's within the indention, it's in bold. Only the first word is capitalized, and there's a period at the end. So this will be a level three. So we have a level one, we have a level two, and we have a level three heading. Now you'll notice here that there's more space, or too much space, between this level one heading and this level two heading. So if after you have gone through and double spaced your document, and you've selected the option to maintain equal spacing between each paragraph, if you still have too much space, then you may have to do one of two things. First, you may need to change this to a default setting, then go back and put it in bold and center it. Or sometimes, or for example here you'll notice there's too much space between this paragraph and this heading, if you do backspace and then enter, and then again go back and put the text in bold and move it over to the left, then you should be okay. You should have equal spacing. So even though you've made those global changes, you still need to go through the document, check each paragraph and heading again to make sure that there's equal spacing not only between each paragraph, but each paragraph and each heading. Okay. So if we go to the end of our document, now the last thing we'll need to cover is our, our references and annotated bibliography. So our annotated bibliography will be on a separate page. So if we hit Control Enter, that will automatically insert a page break. We'll hit Backspace and then Center. So the title annotated bibliography will be centered to the page. And again, all main words will be capitalized since it's a level one heading. We'll do the same for references. Control, enter, backspace, center. And the title references now is in uh, where it should be. So then we will need to include our references. Now the references, I'm going to give you a couple of examples here. We'll copy, paste a couple. You can add this text here. Grab one more. Obviously, all of the references that are, that are in your annotated bibliography will be the same references that are in your references page. And it should be alphabetized. Now, to format your references, select all of your references. I only have two here, but uh, you'll have more. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is go into our line spacing and make the change. We're going to single space now. Single space our references. We're going to move this slider bar over to the left. So basically the lower bar will be half an inch. The upper slider bar will be all the way to the left. Now again because this is a different program I'm going to have to manually enter these values but in Microsoft Word it's a little bit easier to do that. Okay, for some reason, something's not right here. So, okay, so I need a negative value. And that should do it. So, okay. 
Now we're good to go. The only thing left to do now is to create one space after each reference. So the references are single spaced within each reference, but between each reference it's double spaced. So it should appear as it does here. Again, making sure that the proper text is italicized depending on if it's a book or magazine or web page. But the general formatting according to APA is uh, just to make sure that these the headings are flush left for the first line and then the second line and or all other lines within the same reference are are indented a half an inch. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to cover. Again, moving text from Wiki Educator over to a Microsoft Word or any Word document. Um, and then some simple formatting changes that we can make. Uh, this took just a few minutes to do. Uh, and if you select all the text as I've shown here in this video, uh, it will make this process a lot easier and uh, a lot quicker. So uh, if you do have any questions about formatting or changing the text, uh, within Word, uh, feel free to contact me.